G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and part two of the Walkera F210 review there. New racing mini quad and just answer a few questions that people posed from part one. How much does this weigh? Well I've got the, the four cell battery they provide in there. I'm going to put this on the scales if I can get it to balance. There we go, 562 grams. If I just shield the lights there guys, 562 grams. So it's not that heavy, it's pretty good actually, it's pretty reasonable. Another question that people asked was, how do you mount a Mobius or a GoPro on this thing? And the answer to that is, well, you don't. I'm thinking that perhaps, maybe, no, the battery's too low, you can't mount it on there. This little hood's in the way. I have seen one guy mount it on his video transmitter, but antenna, but honestly, that's going to screw up your video transmission. And not a good idea. So maybe you can mount something underneath. Even then, there's this piece of aluminium here. It's going to block your thing. So... I can imagine that if this thing flies nicely, there's going to be a huge aftermarket business from all the people with their 3D printers making up little Mobius mounts, which will probably screw in. If we look carefully, we can see there's a screw on the top there. There's a screw on the side there, which has the main camera. Um, probably, or maybe even on here, there's a little screw in here. Maybe these can be tailored to create a, a mount for the Mobius or the GoPro. I don't know, but I think Walkera underestimated the importance of providing facility or support for an HD recording camera because Everybody wants to record their latest fastest flight or their latest, you know, blast through the trees so that it all looks really good and they can show their mates or put it on YouTube and they've missed that. So for this particular flight review, I'm only going to be able to give you the FPV footage from the live video camera. So don't expect wonderful HD stuff. You're not going to see it. Now, the other thing is there's an OSD in here. And fortunately, Walkera has made it possible to turn the OSD off. That's really good because if you are a, a really keen racer you don't want crap on your screen that's just going to distract you i think i mentioned that in the review of the runner 250 and now you can turn that osd off which is really great i'm hoping however when i turn it off it still leaves the battery voltage because there is no telemetry on the system there is apparently a built-in beeper which will sound when the battery gets low but if you're out there racing with four or five other people and a beeper goes oh how do you know whose it is you don't know if it's yours so yeah, it's it's not very good hopefully when I, there's, the osd has still got the telemetry for the battery voltage I don't think it will though because the switch seems to be off or on and in the pictures in the manual let me reach for a moment whoops, and bang the camera and do all sorts of crazy stuff here you go hang on in the picture here from the thing here we go try and show you that um, it shows an artificial horizon and we don't want an artificial horizon get rid of that and then your pitch angle and a timer a timer might be useful but um, battery voltage is all we want Battery, interior voltage, who gives a damn if the beck's working? You'll know if it stops because it'll fall out of the sky. So they've just put too much rubbish in here that you don't want. So hopefully, hopefully um, we'll be able to get it down to just the voltage, but I doubt it. Never mind. It's time to charge up the battery, by the way. It is a 40C battery. I didn't notice it until I put the video on YouTube, but it is actually kind of written in there, black ink on black plastic. So it's a 40C, 1300 milliamp, four cell battery. I'm going to charge that up, go outside, Give this a blast bearing in mind that i'm a bit rusty i haven't flown mini quads much recently and also it'll be my first time with this machine so who knows what will happen perhaps we'll test the durability i don't know
So there you go, excuse that flight. I was standing up, I can't fly standing up, I fall over all the time, so it wasn't a very good uh, test of the machine's capabilities, but it did feel very comfortable to fly this little quad. First flight, uh, and the, the lighting is crap, and I was falling over, so the limitations were me, not the machine. It flies really nicely now. Sorry it was only SD video footage from the DVR, which means it doesn't look as good as you'd get from the camera. But as I said, no HD camera mount means I couldn't whack a Mobius or a Runcam or a GoPro on here. So that's one of the negative aspects of this model. But there's, there's something else. I've wrote, made a couple of notes. Um, the FPV transmitter, if you're in the USA, you've only got four channels, four FPV channels. Um, if you're in the EU, then you do get eight channels, but you're only 25 milliwatts. So I don't know whether this is the EU version or the... US version, I know they sent me an EU plug, so maybe it is EU, I don't know. But suffice to say, you know, I was surprised that these antennas, although they're not the best, there was, there was an adequate range, it was nice, reasonably solid signal all the way. Um, yeah, so I would have to say that Walkera have finally got their act together with these racing mini quads, and this is something that you could buy, you could take it out of the box, charge the battery, put some dry cells in your Devo 7 transmitter, find a set of FPV glasses or an FPV visor, and go and have a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun without worrying about it falling in half if you accidentally drop it on the ground. And you can do proximity, you can do flips, you can do rolls. It's, it's, it's just, it flies so nicely. It's got the F3 flight controller. What does that mean? Bugger if I know, but <laughs> that's what they say. I think they mean that it's got an STM32 F3 processor chip on the flight controller, but that doesn't tell us what the flight controller actually is. I don't think. Um, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But it, it seems nice. For my liking, it could be tuned a little better. It's a little bit still... You know, it just felt a little tiny bit loose, but hey, it is so much better than that Runner 250. You know, it, it just, it's great. I'm going to put some hours on this on the weekend, and I'll post some more video next week when I've had a chance to find a chair so I can do it sitting down, and to get a better idea of the actual uh, capabilities of this machine, I'll compare it to a couple of other mini quads that I will be flying at the same time. I'll give some other people a fly of it perhaps, and we'll see what they think as well. But in the meantime, I'd have to say that if you've got 300 and I think it's 380 bucks burning a hole in your wallet, you want to get into mini quads, you could do a lot worse than spending it on the F210 from Walkera. I don't think you'd be too disappointed uh, based on my experiences to date. So well done, Walkera. You've really pulled one out of the hat after that horrible 250. <laughs> So there you go, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, anything else you want to know about this, anything you want to see, then please put those in the comment section on the video that YouTube provides, and I'll do my best to address them before I do an update on this, probably sometime next week or early the following week. Um, in the meantime, thank you for watching. It's been a hot, sweltery day here. The humid tropical air is rolling in, so I'm going to not go back to the bench. I'm going to go home to the shower. Thanks for watching. See you soon.